my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Dalia Delago, I'm a professional Latin dancer and I specialize in salsa and bachata. Let me ask you a question. Are you new at social dancing? I know it can be super intimidating, especially because you don't know what to expect or how to behave. In this video, I'm going to give you my top five tips and we're going to be talking about etiquette, body language and things you need to know for social dancing for females. Speaking of what to wear, I know it's always a dilemma for us ladies. And in this occasion myself, I didn't think through my wardrobe, so I have to wear the microphone here. Pardon me, ladies. <laughs> All right, so what to wear? Um, I have a specific video that talks about the, the do's or don'ts for uh, what to wear and shoes and jewelry and all of that. So uh, I suggest you take a look at that video. It's super uh, fun and interesting. So go ahead and take a look at that. In the meantime, I'm gonna just be very brief. Um, things that you should not wear is a dress like this. <laughs> That's super short and then you're gonna be dancing and then it keeps going up and up and up. Yes, and then you're gonna be like dancing and oh, oh. If the dress is a little bit longer and then it doesn't matter if it comes up a little bit when you're dancing, yeah? As long as you're comfortable. Try not to wear strapless because then you're gonna be and then in one dip, that's it. Game over. Okay, so uh, my personal preferences if the place is not too fancy and if I want to dance like there is no tomorrow, I will wear some cute shorts and a cute top or some cute, uh, how do you call that, leggings, pants and a cute top. That will be my personal preference. That's my top two. Um, a dress also, but like we talk about a little bit longer, yes? And for shoes, make sure if you don't have dance shoes yet, you don't have to, but wear something that has, uh, how do you call this? Straps, straps, yes, <laughs> that has the straps. Uh, so when you're dancing, you're not afraid that you're gonna be losing a shoe, yeah? Uh, also, high heels, okay, but not too high. Skeletos, eh, because then you're gonna be suffering the next day, I promise you. So something, nice and sexy that you're gonna be comfortable on and that you can dance all night. I suggest you buy your dance shoes, but if you're not ready for that commitment, just simple heel straps or even flats that you're comfortable on, all right? Another question that I get a lot is, is it okay to go by yourself to the club? Um, it's not very common that a new lady in the scene is going to go by herself, but I don't see anything wrong with doing that either. Um, I think the solution will be in this case, if you don't feel comfortable going by yourself, then uh, just go to the group classes. I'm sure at this point you may have been taking some group classes, or if you haven't, and then I suggest you start taking some group classes or even at the club, you know, most of the clubs have a class before the social dancing. So take the class, get to know some people, and then at least you have some familiar faces to start the night with. And then from there, it's called social dancing. So you are free to dance with whomever you want and to mingle around and talk and make new friends. You know what, ladies, I'm just gonna hold this right here because it's just not working now for me right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what to expect once you get there? Well, chances are that you're gonna be noticed. You know, ladies are gonna notice the new face in the scene and gentlemen are gonna notice the new meat, fresh meat <laughs> in the market, if you know what I mean. <laughs> not all of them. Well. And this is what's going to happen. Usually everyone is going to be super friendly with you. Um, salsa scene, salsa bachata, social scene, it's pretty friendly. Um, and there is going to be a few types of guys, um, dancers and just personality wise. I'm going to narrow it down into three categories. Yes. Okay, so number one, we have the guys that 
literally just go there to have a good time, social dancing and socializing with other people, meaning making friends. Then we have the type of guys that go there and use dancing as an excuse to try to pick up the next victim. Number three, um, we have uh, those guys that are equally scared and intimidated as you are. But reality is that you go there to have fun and you go there to, to get some experience, to make new friends. So regardless of that, go there with your objective and uh, don't mind other people. Uh, you're gonna sooner or later realize those number two type of guys are you know that the ones that just go there to to pick up the next victim you're gonna realize that uh, either by just being there watching or by being told by other people because we girls do talk <laughs> another question that I get asked a lot is how do I get guys to ask me to dance because usually when you're new you feel like they are not asking you to dance because they don't know you and which is completely valid I've actually seen it I have two tips for you that are mainly based on body language and uh, body language is super important period so let's go ahead and, and talk about it literally let's pretend this is the dance floor yes literally place yourself right by the dance floor and have an open demeanor meaning smiling and enjoying the music so then the other people that are looking for a dancer for a follower they can see you that you want to dance and they can approach you and ask you now for number two my tip number two is if you see that they're approaching you then your job is to Continue being friendly, smile, and make eye contact with them. Because most of the times what I've seen that happens is like, yeah, the girl is dancing, and then the guy is so afraid. They also, I mean, believe me, we hurt their feelings sometimes by saying no, because they're like excited, they see you excited, I'm gonna pay the guy right now, they see you excited, and then suddenly it's like, they ask you to dance, and then you're like, yeah so <laughs> let's see this means yes and this means even if you are by the edge of the dance floor and you have this behavior like this and if a guy is looking at you and you're like that means for him no so let's try to avoid those kind of uh, body language and try to be a little bit more open, more friendly if you want to be asked. All right, let's see. But what if that doesn't work? What if after all of that, people are still not asking you? Is that okay to ask the guy? Why not? You know, we are in 2022, so everything is okay. I prefer when guys ask me because I, I find it, you know, uh, beautiful that a gentleman asks the lady, but if that's not happening, I'm not gonna sit down, I'm not gonna stay there. Believe me, it happened to me before that I was in Barcelona. No one was asking me to dance, Cuba, sorry. I was in Cuba, no one was asking me to dance. And uh, I had to ask, how come I was going to stay sitting down in Cuba? No way. So it is okay to ask, but be ready to be rejected because it's also the right to say no. The easiest way will be if you are in a place that you know, let's say um, you recognize someone from class, let's say you took the class before the club and you recognize that person, one, two people from that class, then ask them to dance. I think that would be a better way to start and then people can see that you are dancing and they will be asking you after that. All right, let's give it a try, good luck. I know you guys, it can be very intimidating, especially if you don't know that person, but hey, it's also exciting because you're about to experience something new. So my tip for you will be, um, don't anticipate, don't overthink. What do I mean by overthinking? So let's say you're dancing with someone new. I'm gonna be holding this here. 
you're dancing with someone new and then they do something that you never experienced, which is the tossing of the hand. They toss your hand and then you're like, oh, whoa. And then you're trying to like, you know, is it this hand, is it this one? What does he want? And then you get all nervous, right? Don't overthink it. Do as it feels. Well, this one is bye-bye and this one now they need it, yes? Okay, so. Uh, that's for not overthinking, not anticipating. Well, let's say the guy wants to do a loop, right? Uh, but you haven't learned the loops, you only learn the turn. So you are like, oh, right away you turn, right? So don't anticipate, let him do his job. And yes, I know it's easier said than done, but my advice for you in this situation for overthinking and uh, anticipating is simply pay more attention physically and visually to your leader and believe me everything is gonna be just fine you're gonna have much more fun that way let's give it a try all right ladies and because you stayed all the way until the end bonus all right ladies so this is the last thing i have to tell you and keep learning that's the only thing i can tell you because the more you learn the more confidence you get and the more confidence you get the more guys are going to be wanting to dance with you the more you dance the more fun it is so do the math <laughs> and another thing uh, i've seen people coming into the social scene and then disappearing um don't let anyone kill your spirit in the world there is good people there is bad people in the social scene there is people with good intentions people with bad intentions and you're going to experience it all but please promise me you're not going to let that one person kill your spirit keep on dancing and thank you so much you guys i hope this was helpful for you if you found it helpful, please don't forget to support with a thumbs up. And if you like my videos so far, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification button so you will not miss another video. And sharing is caring. So if you think this is going to be useful for someone else, go ahead and share it. Thank you so much, guys. See you next week.